Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can keep meeting minutes or meeting notes during a Microsoft Teams. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Let's start by opening up Microsoft Teams in our browser. Now here you can see I've already got a meeting scheduled, so I'm going to go in and change the details of that meeting. Now I've already invited three attendees for this meeting, but I really want to share some meeting notes with them prior to the meeting taking place. Now what you're going to do in order for you to do that is you're going to find at the top the meeting notes option. This now gives you the ability to add notes prior to the meeting taking place and then these are shared with all participants. Now what I really like about the meeting notes within Microsoft Teams is that you can have different sections and it really helps you to organize your meeting notes. So let's go ahead and just add the first one here with the intro. And then we are going to add a number of different items to discuss. So items, so we're going to add item one, item two, and item three. Now, what you can do is you can also format this. So there's some very basic formatting available. So you can highlight these and you can even add some bullet points. Now let's say that you're ready with this first section. You can add a second section by scrolling down and clicking on this plus icon. This is now the second section. These could be your meeting minutes. There we go, minutes, and these will be taken during the meeting. Now you can add multiple sections here, but let's just say that we're going to leave it at this, and now we're going to go and join this meeting. Now this is my teacher's demo account, so I'm going to join with my teacher's demo account. I'm going to turn off the microphone and join, and then instantly I have access to these meeting notes in my menu. Now, where can I find them? Well, at the bottom, as you are in this meeting, you'll find these three little dots here. We're going to click on that and then we can find our meeting notes right here inside our meeting. It is on the right hand side. And as you can see, when I scroll over this, I can start adding information into them. So we can now start talking about the different things that we need to do in our meeting and add them to these notes. Now let's have a look at what this looks like to an attendee of this meeting. So let's open up our student account. Now the student is going to do the exact same thing. It's going to navigate to Microsoft Teams. It's going to open up that live meeting and join it. Now my student account is also in that same meeting and what they can do now is they can click on those three dots and they can also view these meeting notes. Now, as you can see here on the right hand side, they also have access to edit these notes. Now that means that both attendees and presenters can add to the notes. These notes are then linked to that meeting. Now let's say that it's the end of the meeting and everyone is leaving. Well, what you can do now is you can simply hang up as a student and then our teacher is also going to end this meeting. You can see immediately a little card here is created for this meeting that has taken place and you can now also view the meeting notes. So we can click on this button right here and it shows us a full screen overview of all the notes taken during that meeting. You can now go into this and you can start moving around your sections by navigating to the section you would like to move and then simply click on the three dots and move it around your meeting notes. This is incredibly useful when you have a very large set of meeting notes and you just want to structure it a little bit more or even add a bit of formatting to it. Now, I hope you found this helpful. For even more tips and tricks on Microsoft Teams, click on the playlist here. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.